So glad you can join me for today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. Adam R. Holes wrote today's reading, and he titled it, Excelsior. Sometimes, surprisingly spiritual messages turn up in unexpected places, like in a comic book, for example. Marvel Comics publisher Stan Lee passed away in 2018, leaving behind a legacy of such iconic heroes as Spider-Man, Iron Man, the Fantastic Four, the Hulk, and many others. The famously smiling man with sunglasses had a personal catchphrase that he used to sign off in monthly columns in Marvel Comics for decades. The word, Excelsior. In a 2010 tweet, Lee explained its meaning. Upward and onward to greater glory. That's what I wish you whenever I finish tweeting, Excelsior. I like that. Whether Stan Lee realized it or not, his use of this unusual phrase certainly resonates with what Paul wrote in Philippians, as he admonished believers to look not behind, but ahead and up. But one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. We can easily become entangled in regrets or second-guessing past decisions, but in Christ, we're invited to relinquish regrets and to press upward and onward to God's greater glory through embracing the forgiveness and purpose He so graciously gives us. Excelsior! The scripture reading for today's devotional is from Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 through 21. Not that I have already obtained all this or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead. I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. All of us then, who are mature, should take such a view of things. And if on some point you think differently, that too God will make clear to you. Only let us live up to what we have already attained. Join together in following my example, brothers and sisters, and just as you have us as a model, keep your eyes on those who live as we do. For as I have often told you before, and now tell you again, even with tears, many live as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their destiny is destruction, their God is their stomach, and their glory is in their shame. Their mind is set on earthly things, but our citizenship is in heaven, and we eagerly await a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ, who, by the power that enables Him to bring everything under His control, will transform our lowly bodies so that they will be like His glorious body. Would you spend some time in prayer with me? Dear Lord, help us to let go of regrets and what-ifs and always looking behind. Help us to embrace your forgiveness, moving onward and upward as you guide us. May your love light our path, and may we reflect your grace to others. Thank you so much for your eternal presence with us. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks so much for listening today. I'm Stephen Tabor, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.